Sledge Melon Studios. Gather round, children, for the story of the century. Three tales that recount of faith, hope, and charity. For some men live by virtue, and others by vice. But here exist only the latter in a story told thrice. Excuse me, sir. Can you please spare a little money? I could use a hot dinner. Sorry, I, I don't have any money. No, wait. Please, please. I could give you this for some money. Please, I'm starving. Well, this is certainly an interesting opportunity. It does sort of look like an antique. Maybe I could sell it later for a decent bit. Plus, this guy's desperate. He'll probably take anything. Let's see. Uh, 20 is a bit much. I'm not a charity service, but I don't want to be a dick and give him five. I only got a ten, pal. Sorry. Ten dollars, eh? Like I said, that's all I've got. Sorry. Hey, it's okay, man. You can buy a nice meal now. You'll be eating well tonight. You can buy a footlong or two. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry about that, man. Well, uh... Got a place to be, so I'll see ya. Have a good one. Curse you, you greedy bastard. Thomas! Hey, dude, what took you so long? You look great. You shut up, I'm being stalked. What the hell are you talking about? Who's stalking you? He, 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 he was right behind me. It was, it was this guy. He was dressed in all black, like, like a demon or something. Okay, well, there's nobody out here. Why do you have that guitar? I, I got it from some deaf homeless guy. What? Yeah, I mean, he, he really needed the money, so I, he gave me the guitar. I mean, it's not like he had any use for it anyway. What the hell? Why would you do that? I don't know, it looked like an antique. I mean, you know how I'm tight on money these days with all my expenses. Are you sick in the head? You just took advantage of some homeless guy. Hey, I helped him out. I gave him 10 bucks. I mean, he, he, he can buy a nice meal now. You really are a greedy bastard, you know that? That's it. He cursed me. He called me, you greedy little bastard. What? I mean, it all adds up now. He, uh, must have been some moral test. I mean, why the hell would a homeless guy be sitting on a sidewalk anyway? Because he's homeless. And the guy in black, he, he must have been a demon here to punish me. Hey, Carl, listen to me. Now I'm getting worried. This is something you would have pulled a year ago. I thought the programs helped you. I, I'm fine now, okay? This is legit. But... I have to give him back the guitar, okay? Then I'll be forgiven. What are you... I, I have to go now. I'll be back. Carl, wait! Guys in the world, I mess with a wizard. 
Here, just take back the guitar. Okay, just, just take it. Take, take the money too. All of it. All of it. Just take it all. Just oh, please, Thank you, please, sir. call off <laughs> the demon. Please. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm safe, thank the Lord I'm safe. I've learned my lesson. I'm never gonna take money from the homeless man ever again, yes! Damn, I feel like a new man. Make it quick, Luke. You know you're not supposed to call me at the park. Right, because I'm supposed to know your daily schedule. All right, well, if you're just gonna chastise me, I'll hang up. Quit being such a child, all right? I'm calling about last night. What about it? Don't even try that. I know you didn't forget. Do you realize that mom barely gets to see us nowadays? She had this whole dinner set up and you didn't even show. Oh, that's right. Sorry, it totally slipped my mind. I was just, uh, really busy. I had a lot of work to do. Oh, I didn't realize blowing half your wallet on strippers was considered work these days. You can't keep doing this. You throw your money around like a prodigal son. You're gonna go broke, you know. Luke, you have no sight for the future. When my song is climbing the charts, we'll see who's broke. That's all you care about these days. That silly little music career that isn't even going anywhere. You care more about that stupid guitar than your own mother who you haven't seen in months. You know, she tries so hard, and all you do is spite us. She needs us, Harry. Without Dad, she has no one. And why do you think that is, Luke? It certainly couldn't be her charming personality. You're right. She can be hard to get along with sometimes, but... Hard to get along with? You know, I think I've got a few scars that prove that's an understatement. Harry! She's different now. And, and come on, man, we're family. You know, as far as I'm concerned, the family died with Dad. I mean, why do you think I'm trying so hard to make it big? It's because I never want to see you guys again. So have fun with your half of family dinners. Excuse me, sir. Please. I just need a few- I'm sorry. Can't you see I'm busy? I don't have anything. Shoo. So what'd they say? They liked it. Thought it had potential. Well, I'd hope so. It's a banger. So they offer any deals? Not yet. They want to see how the single performs first, but they'd be happy to meet with you. Nice. Well, you can tell them they got nothing to fear. It'll be a hit. <laughs> Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. You never can tell what the industry's gonna think. True. <clears throat> I think we need to talk about Liam. What about him? Well, I think we need to take precautions against a potential lawsuit. And why exactly would we do that? Harry, how do I put this lightly? You backstabbed him. I did not! Oh, you didn't. As far as I remember, he helped quite a bit with making that song. Only for you to throw him out. <laughs> Help me with the song? That idiot wouldn't know a good melody if it slapped him across the face. I mean, sure, we jammed a couple of times, but that's it. I wrote the song. All of it. I'm just looking out for you. Let's say the song becomes a hit. Liam could take it to the courts and sue for a stolen songwriting credit. Do you know how much money you could lose? How much I could lose? And plus, with the way you've been jacking around recently, you don't have a lot of money to spare. It's my song, Rick. Not Liam's. Not yours. Mine.
Hey Harry, how are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while, and I figured you wanted to be left alone. I can't even begin to understand what happened. I'm so sorry. I know that the last thing you need right now is more bad news. But you need to know, the song didn't do so hot. The royalty payments came in, but it's practically nothing. It's bad luck, kid. Also, uh, the record deal pulled out. They said they just couldn't put their faith in a deaf musician. What a bunch of assholes. You'd think they never heard of Beethoven. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that I can't work for you anymore. It's just that I gotta put food on the table. If it's any consolation, I tried to keep this whole ordeal under wraps. Keep your head up, kid. Rick. You, Leo? Of course. Come on in, come on in. So, Fallon, huh? That's an interesting name. It's a code name. Ooh, how exciting. So what's your real name, then? Well, that's sort of the point of a code name. Oh, my mistake. I respect your professionalism. Very honorable. Uh, thank you? Hey, look, can we get started? Who do you want me to kill? Well, we can get into that later. First, I wanted to ask about your... your... Quality? Bingo. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have any reservations. For one, your reviews are a bit low. Only two stars. I have this condition. And it sometimes impairs my ability to do a job. How so? I have this rare form of narcolepsy. It occasionally causes me to... faint. You mean you fall asleep? Eh, sort of. It's extremely random, and it only ever lasts for a few minutes. But you always get the job done, though, right? Usually, yeah. Usually? Relax. It'll be fine. Are you sure it's not going to be a problem? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. Super duper sure. Yes! If you were so worried about it, why didn't you just hire one of the five stars? <laughs> and pay 50000 I don't have any money. I'm an aspiring musician. I do like to think of myself as the economy option. But don't worry. I'm good at my job. I plan ahead. I blend in. I keep calm under pressure. And I always get the right man. Economy option? No kidding. It's 500 right? Plus tax. Half in advance, half when the job is done. Now... Who's the target? All right, his name is Harry Anderson. I hate his guts. Well, I figured as much. He's a musician. Not a very good one, mind you, since he has to steal other people's work to get anywhere. Okay, so what does he look like? You wanna know what he did to me? I don't need to know any personal. We used to work together. We wrote songs together. We played together. We were gonna be the next big duo. Like Hall and Oates, Sonny and Cher, Crosby and Stills now. Look, I- He betrayed me! He stole my song, Cigarette Woman Heartbreak, and renamed it Baby Gone By. You've heard it, right? I don't think so. Baby Gone By Bye. Baby Gone By Bye. I don't listen to much FM. Well, you're gonna hear it, because it's catchy as hell. I would know. I wrote it. One look at the two songs, and you can see everything was stolen. The melody, the chords, the lyrical content. I write my song about getting dumped by a girl, and then surprise, surprise. He writes his song about getting dumped by a girl. I mean, come on, people. So let me get this straight. You want me to murder this guy because he supposedly stole your song? This is the music industry we're talking about. 
It's a world where you either eat a dog or get eaten. And Harry's trying to eat my dog. Horrible. Really. Now, can you tell me something useful? Like, what does he look like? Where can I find him? All you gotta do is ask. This photo is horrible. Blonde hair, weird nose, not particularly good looking. A bit short, small calf muscles. Okay, I get it. But where can I find him? That's a little tricky. He's a big spender, so he's always hopping from one high rise to the next. I don't have an address I can give you, but I can tell you this. There's this one park he really likes, Straub's Park. Do you know where that is? Yeah, next to the fire station. Uh-huh. He's always going there on the weekends. Oh, and he always has his acoustic guitar with him. Okay. Blonde hair, Straub's Park, acoustic guitar. Got it. Now, about my payment. I'll wire the funds over right away. Thank God. I'll be leaving. All right, found. Bring me his head. Liam, I'm a hitman. Not an animal. Throw an extra 10 bucks? Head it is. Don't fall asleep on the job now. Hey, sis. <laughs> Thanks. You almost forget? Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Maybe we can all go out to eat sometime soon. I'm just really busy right now. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, you did? Aw, uh, you know you didn't have to give me anything. <laughs> that just puts pressure on me to get you something even better for your birthday. Right, right. Hey, listen, I gotta go, but... I'll be sending you some more money soon, okay? No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm happy to help. I know, you tell me this every time, but... Those rehab programs... The rehab is expensive. You can't pay for that all by yourself. Yeah, I know. Alright, well... I'll talk to you later. Love you too. Bye. Think. Think. Blonde hair. And a guitar. That's right. Blonde hair and a guitar. Okay. Alright. Blonde hair and a guitar. Blonde hair and a guitar. Bingo. Hello, Mr. Anderson. Remember. It's all for her. Yeah, 
Russell, can I help you? This is going swimmingly. Not again. Why does the universe hate me? I'm just trying to help my sister! head.
Baby gone bye bye Now I cry cry Now I cry cry My life's been torn up by another brunette She's taken my soul and my final cigarette Ignoring the bread, you're only around if I had another red. Oh, I know now you could slow it down. Woo! Thought we'd be together with the stormy weather. It's two love birds on a lowly feather. Oh, I know now you couldn't slow it down. And now you're gone from my arms. How could you? So much harm, harm to me. Baby gone bye bye, baby gone bye bye. Now I cry cry, now I cry cry. My life's been torn up by another brunette. She's taken my soul and my final cigarette. And now you're gone from my arms. How could you leave this love that's caused so much harm? Baby gone bye bye, now I cry cry, now I cry cry. My life's been torn up by another brunette. She's taken my soul and my final cigarette. Yep. Thought we'd always be together through the stormy weather. <laughs>